Welcome back and jumping straight into part four. Today we're gonna upgrade some hardware amongst other things. First and foremost, we're gonna be swapping out these old crusty and stripped screws for some stainless steel hex drive ones. They are 3 8 inch long and an 832 thread size. After trying them out in person at a hardware store, I decided to go back home and order these offline since I needed quantity in this situation. Realizing that these large lugs also needed a good deep cleaning, I took them apart to remove the old foam that was inside to help reduce with the spring vibration. With the help of a pair of pliers, I removed the springs that hold in the swivel nuts. After completing this on all of them and getting rid of the dry and brittle foam, it was time for a bath. All hail the never fail Evaporust. In all seriousness, this is a great product for the job and not only is it cheap, it's very effective with more than one use per container, which just adds to the value that you get with this stuff. After letting them soak overnight, I then take a toothbrush and remove any of the last bit of crud or debris that could be on them, setting them aside to dry. And like always, before installing them back onto the drums, it's gonna be a quick buff and shine with some Goddard silver polish and a dab of turtle wax to complete the sauce. The same day this had arrived, that exact morning, I checked my email and it said it was still in customs out in LA. So I was super shocked to see the postman after the knock on the door with this in his hands. That's right, custom bubble wrap. As you can see here, it is not, but is in fact a black sparkle with silver fleck finish. My last video, I gave a slight hint, that being the Ludwig Black Galaxy Acrylite Snare. They unfortunately did not have that exact option, so this was the next best and the closest thing that I thought I would be impressed with. I ended up buying the five piece set, which is way more than I'll need for this kit. So I'll have extras for a future project. Also, these will require some trimming before fitting on the shells. Being impressed by this wrap makes me kind of want to revisit the Gretsch kit again. To get these wraps to stick, I'm going to use some DAPS Weld Wood Contact Cement. Now there are multiple ways to do this, this is just what I'm going to choose to do this kit with. After measuring the depth of the shell, I select the corresponding wrap that I need and trim it to size. Using a ruler as a guide and a fresh razor blade to cut it, I mark on the line that I made and one last test fit before gluing it on. And this is where the camera as well as myself both started to experience the fumes of the contact cement and forgot to press record. And to be honest, there was a couple of oh crap moments and a lot of F-bombs dropped, but we got it done. To ensure that the head seats properly on the shell and the wrap does not interfere with it, I ran a razor around the shells along the bearing edge to remove about an eighth of an inch of wrap material. 
Next, using a bit the same diameter as the holes, I began drilling out the lug holes in the wrap. First, placing down a piece of wood to help prevent tear out on the wrap and give support to it. This process being the same for all the drums. Then I carefully clean things up using a step bit. Now for the installation process, which is pretty straightforward. I get the new screws ready after rebuilding the lugs and cotton packing them for spring vibration. Lug by lug, screw by screw. An issue that came up when putting things back together were the screws for the floor tom leg brackets. They were a little too short to mount through the shell and to hold on the gasket before having enough thread to hold on the actual brackets. And so after digging around in the parts pile, I found exactly six screws that would work perfectly for this. Now that the issue is fixed, it was on to the air vent grommets and getting those in before putting on the heads. And one last thing that needed to be addressed, which was the rubber support for the tom brackets. I want to run one in each hole giving me a total of two all together so I need to build some. After a quick trip to the hardware store where I found these as a backup plan, I did find rubber stoppers that I will drill out to receive a screw. And to countersink that so it doesn't scratch the shell, I will use a step bit. couple of sketchy moves later and a quick test fit before tightening it all down. And with that being the last piece of the puzzle, I am done with building this kit. And just like that, I was able to bring my beloved Ludwig kit back to life. After a few weeks of work and a roundabout cost of $600, give or take, I gave this drum kit its much deserved attention and turned my vision into a reality, just as you can. Thanks for watching and following along with me on this build. If you can do me a solid, hit that like button, comment on something, or subscribe.
I will be doing a playthrough video soon on this kit, so stay tuned. And until next time, drums, drums, drums.